Hey guys, I'm doing another video here. Um, this is a brand new figure that I bought, um, and I got it in just uh, yesterday, and I I uh, opened it up uh, when I got home uh, last night, and um, I messed around with it, and um, I just want to do this review customization uh, video, and um, uh, a little bit of a kind of backstory type thing. We're going to basically go through this um, and just kind of coast through this video pretty much. Um, okay, so this is the uh, new TB League uh, Fison um, uh, Vampire Hunter. Um, here's what she comes with. I'll get to why the body isn't here in a minute, but um, uh, she has a she has a head um, with short hair to fit inside the collar. Um, this dagger here, um, it's a pretty nice looking dagger. Um, uh, these spare or these are the hands that she actually came with. I'm using different hands from from another figure. They are. You get trigger finger hands too, which is cool. So you can give her guns. And then here's the, uh, uh, it's kind of like that, uh, that Japanese, uh, weapon, that Japanese club. I could never remember what that thing was called, but that's pretty much what that is. <clears throat> and then, um, that red thing in there, um, is the, uh, is the, um, cape for the, uh, for the jacket. There's uh, different ways you can display the jacket. You can di display it with where it's like more cloaked, or display it where it's more of like a uh, half jacket or something. Um, okay. So there's the box. It's a very, uh, very badass looking skull with eyes, crazy features. You know, just how we like our fantasy skulls. Um, I'm going to get to the styrofoam um, thing in a minute. That's the uh, base. Um, but first I want to um, get over um, uh, what I used the figure for. What I used the figure for was to um, kitbash a uh, different version of Vampirella. When I saw this uh, figure, you know, I didn't buy it initially. Uh, this was kind of a figure that I didn't necessarily have to buy. I was just really hungry to buy figures, and there wasn't really much out. There's not really much out right now other than this kind of stuff. But like what I saw, what I saw with the potential of this figure, and what I really, really liked it for, was um, you can kit bash this with um, uh, uh, Vampirella. For those of you who, that don't know what kit bashing is, kit bashing is a uh, very basal form of customization, one where uh, tools are not required. Um, but uh, so yeah, um, I just easily saw saw that this could just be another version of Vampirella. So this is the this is the Vampire Slayer's body. Um, for those of you who are buying this just for the, for the, um, stock character that they give you, um, this is her body, um, and it's, uh, very nice, um, the, uh, texture feel, feels really nice, um, I felt like other, uh, TB League, uh, faux leather like this, and some of them, uh, kind of feel like cheap, in a way, this doesn't at all, this feels thick, and this, this feels, uh, durable um it's uh quite nice i love the color um you can see there she's got like uh buckles on the on the um on the on the left um sleeve sorry guys um and then um the right sleeve is plain um you see like this um this uh bodysuit 
this bodysuit she's got on. Isn't that amazing? Um, the stockings are all cool. Something that's cool too is uh, the uh, stockings are not actually attached to the uh, to the boots. The boots are separate, um, even though they're supposed to go along with the stockings. Um, and uh, these thigh rings that originally came with a uh, Lady Death, um, and they're uh, they're uh, redistributed for uh, uh, Vampire Slayer over here. Um, they're uh, they hold uh, the boot and the um, uh, the boot and the um, stockings together. Kind of just adjusting her collar. I get OCD when I talk about figures. Her hair is a mess, but that's because it just I had to fit it all into the collar. Um, I don't mind the look. Actually, kind of looks a little a little. Uh, vampiric in a way, just messy and all that stuff, so plus I can always take the jacket off in this layer without the jacket, so this is a great figure um, this definitely can fit into uh, Vampirella the Vampirella saga um, even even um, even without uh, without using her ha as a uh, Vampirella custom as I'm doing you can. Here's another Vampirella um, that I did last year. Um, this is the Carolyn Monroe Vampirella. I really love that figure. That's kind of my favorite version of Vampirella. Um, I just think they did more with it than they did with uh, this one. Um, uh, and plus, like, uh, a funny story is I got this Vampirella first, but, um, and that's actually her body too, that's actually, uh, this one's body, um, and so, um, uh, I wanted to put on the outfit, uh, because I'm obsessed with the outfit, I just think the outfit is so sexy, it's just like, you know, um, uh, I, I tease my, my lady friends all the time, because, like, I desperately want to see a stripper wearing a Vampirella outfit, um, <laughs> for like either for like Halloween or even just to show up with it on I just think that that would be awesome um so far I haven't I haven't got I haven't been able to get any of them to do it yet so <laughs> um anyways uh so uh um so so this is the Carolyn, Carolyn Monroe uh Vampirella and then I really like the custom that I did I customized her um, several different several different ways. I used the um, the uh, um, arms the, the armbands, the little black sleeves. I used those from uh, Purgatory. I used the hands from Cowgirl. I used the chaps from Cowgirl, and then I used the um, uh, the uh, the uh, collar from. Um, purgatory and then I used the extra jewelry that um that that this vampirella came with for her this one um so um so that's how I did it I think it came out pretty good um I, I think it came out well yeah um I'm pretty proud of it because I really like Vampirella. I'm a huge Vampirella fan, and um, uh, any different version of her um, I could kind of take and use, I'll definitely grab. So um, let, let me get this display base um, open, and then we'll take a look at that. Okay, here she is. It was kind of a uh, fun. Uh, opening up the base, I thought it would be more taxing than it is. If you're a uh, out-of-box collector, you kind of know how how um, exhausting it kind of is to open uh, um, to open packaging. Um, that's one of the things I like about premium figures is that um, they never tie them down too bad. I think maybe the reason is, is just because they know that they're not selling these things and, and um, uh, 
and um, retail stores. Um, so this is my uh, custom Vampirella on her base. Um, it's pretty damn sweet. Um, this is one of the reasons why I fell in love with Fison was because of uh, bases like this and accessories like this too. Like, um, uh, you don't see too many, uh, guys, um, doing this. Like, I know there's hot toys, but, like, these guns actually feel more, high, they feel like higher quality than, um, uh, hot toys. I owned a hot toys figure. If any of you guys are familiar with, uh, the Panzer Cop series, I owned a, um, I owned a, uh, I still have it, in fact, but it's just... Um, it's the most frustrating toy I own. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's just like, it, I can see where this could be great kind of thing. Like the head sculpt, the paint jobs, um, and stuff is amazing at first, but then you go to try to handle it and, um, uh, and it just, it, it, it it's not good, especially not, uh, compared to Fison. Um, Fison just has... Fison just has so much better, like, durable body, um, resin bases, um, and they haven't in a, quite a long time, but if your figure came with, like, a sword, you know, and, and they would only do this to sword weapons, they wouldn't do it to anything else, they wouldn't even do it to, like, daggers or anything, but if you had, if your figure came with a sword, sometimes it would be a die-cast sword, so, and I just thought that, that was awesome. I was hoping that, like, my, my Hot Toy Panzer Cop would at least have die-cast, uh, guns, because it said it was metal, but the only thing that was metal was, uh, the, um, backpack frame that came with them, and not only was that metal, but it felt cheap, like, cheap metal compared to the die-cast that, that's on some of the, uh, the, um, uh, the, uh, the, some of the die-cast swords that TV League comes with, but this is a very, very cool display base, and a very cool figure at the same time, um, so, just, if you want to just check out the detail of there, of that, look at that, that looks beautiful, that just kind of reminds me of, uh, Caesar's Palace in Vegas, they got this giant lake-sized pond, um, basically a giant lake-sized fountain, this almost kind of reminds me of that. Um, the only issue I would see with, like, this base, there's nothing about it that screams Vampire Slayer. You know, it, 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 it's a very cool piece and a cool terrain, but how, like, how am I supposed to get um, Vampire Slayer off of this? Because everything is so pristine and beautiful. Like, even the, even the trim on the base, there's no skulls, um, you, you do kind of get, like, some, some, uh, Catholic markings, like, that's the, uh, the Catholic, or the New Orleans Saints logo, um, so, um, I know a lot of times they portray, the, they portray, uh, um, uh, vampire hunters as being, like, uh, very religious, so, um, so maybe that's just kind of for that kind of character. But, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, do a quick little 360. Got her where she's blasting away the guns. And you can see what I mean by, um half jacket sort of thing I like that design though that's just that's hot um makes it sort of even more Las Vegas like I like this stand I don't really uh use um uh stands with this uh stand too much on it but it's very nice just to hold her pose you know alright let me uh get everything, uh, situated, and, uh, kind of go over my final thoughts on the figure. Okay, there we go. Now we got her looking more to the side as she's blasting off to perhaps a 
vampiric ocean creature. Let's try to get her hair out of her face. Which is kind of hard with, the, with this jacket on, but it can be done. Okay. So, so yeah, I'm very pleased with this. I think it's excellent. Um, just, uh, I love the base and I love the, um, the, the figure and also what you can do with the figure. I think this makes a, de a, a definite, like, like, kind of, like, um, extended universe Vampirella. Um, I've even kind of seen images of her where she's sort of wearing stuff like this. Another cool thing is, you know, I don't know, I don't know if it can work all that well with the, with the collar of the, of the, uh, classic suit, but, um, uh, what would be kind of cool too is to use this jacket with this outfit, but who knows? It's definitely a great figure. I highly recommend it. I highly re recommend you pick up TV League. Um, I recommend them over, uh, over, um, uh, Hot, do hot Toys for sure, but like, I even recommend Mondo over Hot to Hot Toys. That's not a knock against Mondo, it's just that like, when people talk about, um, uh, 6 inch, um, or I mean 12 inch scale figures, uh, they don't really bring up Mondo too much. So, that's her, um, let, let me know what you guys think, um, like, comment, subscribe.